Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add store policies and legal pages on Shopify. And in this video, you're going to learn how to add your terms of service, shipping policies, privacy policies, and really every type of policy that you may want or need in Shopify. And there are a bunch of templates and free to use templates that you can customize as well to make it nice and easy. I'm also going to be showing you how to add that into your footer, into your navigation page pages as well. So it's easy for your customers to quickly and easily find these policies listed on your Shopify store. Now, if you're brand new to Shopify, you don't already have a Shopify store. I do want to mention that first link down in the description box below. You can go ahead at brenbleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get started with Shopify for free today on that free trial. That's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure you are on your Shopify homepage in your dashboard, the Shopify dashboard on the home. Next, you're going to go down to the bottom left hand corner, click on settings. That will take you into your store details and settings. Then what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down here into policies. So the policy section here, then that will take you over to the store policies area where you can easily add and edit the store policies for your online store. So next, as you can see here, we have the refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service, shipping policy, as well as contact information. So all you have to do within Shopify is click create from template. Now it's important to mention that of course, even Shopify mentions it here that these templates aren't legal advice. You know, by using these templates, you agreed that you've read and agreed to the disclaimer. So the disclaimer basically saying, hey, these aren't legal advice. These are just templates for your store policies. It's up to you to, you know, edit them and customize them specific to your business needs and any other, you know, legal requirements. Of course, you know, consult your own lawyer as to, you know, what you want to have in these, maybe what you need for your specific business. But all you have to do is click create from template. And as you can see here, then it will easily create these policies from a template, which is really, really nice, makes it super easy for you to be able to get these up and running on your Shopify store. As you can see here, you have your refund policy. You know, by default, you have a 30 day refund policy. So, you know, of course, if you don't agree with any of the things in these templates, be sure to edit them yourself and make sure that they follow, you know, your specific needs for within your business. Feel free to edit them. Of course, you know, insert an address for returns or, you know, anything that you may need or maybe Maybe you don't agree with some of these things. Make sure to edit them, you know, add your specific contact us emails or pages, things that you specifically need within your business. And then all you have to do is click save, of course, and that will then save that policy. It will save the store policy. I'll be diving into how to access this policy and make it, you know, available in your navigation as well for customers. But that is all you have to do for refund policy. You can go ahead in here and edit it as you please. And, you know, as you can see here, the template is generated. Then next we have our privacy policy. We're going to go ahead and click create from template. So as you can see here, you have your contact us area. You have your personal information section as to like, hey, you know, sourcing any collections or, you know, purposes of the privacy pol or the, um, yeah, the privacy policy or any, you know, personal information that you're collecting. And this is generally speaking, like above board, you know, Shopify, of course, if you're using it, you're agreeing to their terms of service that, you know, this is what you're including here as far as like all the different legal information uh, when it comes to privacy and things like that. So generally speaking, this is a good template to go by, of course, you know, edit it specifically for you. But you know, this is from the Shopify team. So, you know, they have really covered a lot of the general things that you would need in a privacy policy as well as far as like specific regions such as like California or the European Union, you know, GDPR, uh, you know, things like that, CCPA, things that you would generally need. So overall, it's a great template to use, but, you know, be sure to customize it specifically for your needs. Next, we have the terms of service. You click create from template. Boom, you have your terms of service. So as you can see here, you know, this website is operated by a test store for tutorials 99. <laughs> so then you have your online store terms, general conditions, uh, you know, accuracy, tools, personal information, prohibited use, disclaimers, anything you may need, as well as like contact information, you know, business 
uh, information that you want to include there. Make sure you go in and edit this yourself. Make sure that you agree with everything that is included. Next, we have our shipping policy. Now for shipping policies, this is one that does not actually have a template because it is fairly specific for every business. However, I will include a link down in the description box below as well to Shopify's um, blog post. They have a blog post on shipping policies and they also have a template here. So that's what we're gonna be pasting in here in today's video, their general shipping policy. So we're just gonna copy this template here. Now, of course, it's up to you to edit this specifically for your needs. And and this covers generally you know everything you may need um, as far as a template goes that like I said before this will be linked down in the description box below as well if you want to copy this template is directly from Shopify from the Shopify blog for the shipping policy so you can feel free to edit it you know this covers everything from domestic uh, rates explained now it's also important to mention if you are doing drop shipping I know a lot of you guys on my channel are drop shippers be sure to make sure that you include the specific shipping options as well in accordance to the supply that you're using within your dropshipping business if you're doing that of course if you're not dropshipping then you know of course just include your maybe your USPS shipping rates or UPS shipping rates FedEx whatever you're using as your primary carrier include that here in your shipping options in the template just so that everything is accurate if people need to check that or if they want to check it uh, so obviously local delivery if you offer that if you don't just delete that section same with in-store pickup you know international shipping maybe if international shipping is different than your uh, domestic shipping options make sure to include that as well because that's another thing you'll want to cover as well when it comes to shipping as far as tracking orders you know you can check if uh, you need order tracking as well maybe you link out to an order tracking service that you have available uh, there's a variety of different like order tracking services that you can use in your Shopify store or you could just link out to like a USPS tracking if everything comes with USPS tracking just link out to the to the tracking uh, services page from USPS you have you know PO boxes refund policy type of stuff like that so we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in here uh, as well so boom there we go and we have our you know status of order shipping policy everything you need here so that is another template uh, of course you know feel free to add this exactly to what you need and then as far as contact information of course this is required if you're selling into the European Union that one you can create from template right here so boom you also have your you know your trade name information contact information uh, as well so you have that now you know that is a little bit different from like a contact us page just di mentioning that difference there this is just general contact information like email and things like that whatever you've included in your Shopify store so then all you have to do is click on save and then all these policies are saved within your uh, Shopify store now to actually add these so that they are visible on your Shopify website all you have to do then is go ahead once they are saved then you go over to online store then next you're going to scroll down here to navigation so online store navigation once you're here then as you can see you have the option between the footer menu and the main menu we're going to be adding it to to primarily the footer menu but if you want to add it to the main menu you can do that as well um, it's important as well that if you want to add things like uh, maybe a specific about us page you can do that as well I'll show you how to do that real quickly after we add these to the footer menu so all you have to do is click on footer menu then next we're gonna as you can see we already have search so this will show up here the footer menu is at the foot the bottom of your website here down in the quick link section of your site then you just click on add menu item then all we have to do is go ahead and click on link it will automatically pop up with policies and then you can select here like contact information privacy policy refund policy shipping policy term service so we're going to go ahead and add these in here so we're going to start with you know contact information boom already added so click and add that there then all we need to do is go down to policies privacy policy boom add it there so we got our privacy policy and the refund policy add that there and after refund policy next we have shipping policy boom and after shipping policy you have terms of service so those are all the things now you know feel free to add any other menu items you want to add here into your footer menu of course um, then you have that option there as well you click save menu and then we're just going to <laughs> as you can see here 
Uh, then we're just going to refresh the page here, and boom, we have everything listed here. Now, this one on this store uh, is currently listed twice <laughs> for some reason, but you have it in your footer, so you have the links here as far as whatever you may need. Uh, that's because this is probably an old uh, theme previously had the double links. So in your store, it should only show up once. Of course, be sure to go into your theme settings and, you know, delete excess things. But basically, as you can see here, you have your contact information, your privacy policy, refund policy, shipping policy in terms of service. So if we go to like shipping policy, boom, it's already linked here. Now on your store, this will be linked as your, your store's website. You know, if it's dot my shopify.com, then it's that, but it will be forward slash policies and then forward slash shipping policy. So, you know, you can click the URL if you want to link to these pages, maybe on social media or anything, any other place you may want to link to this, then it will also show up there. So you can also add this to your main um, header as well. If you want to link to it on your main menu, uh, then you also have that option uh, as well. So all you have to do to do that is you go back to your menu settings and navigation. Then you go to main menu, add menu item, link, policies. So let's go ahead and include, let's just say shipping policy, because maybe a lot of people want to see, you know, when can they expect to receive their item or something. You can also edit, if you want to change the name of this, you can also edit like shipping policy, uh, and then like how long, uh, how long for order or something like that. I don't know. You know, you can get creative with whatever you want to name it, but you can also edit that there as well. If you want to change out the default name. So boom, you have that in your main menu. We're going to go back. We're going to refresh this. Once again, refresh it here and boom. So as you can see here, you have your home, your catalog page, your, all your collections and your products. Then you have your shipping policy. So your shipping policy is then linked from your main menu. So you can have it in your main menu or you can also have it in your footer. Just depends. Really, it's good to have it just very visible for customers. So if they need to access that, they can see it uh, and clarify things as well. So another place as well, if you go to your products. So as you can see here, let's just go to this product here. Then you also have, you know, shipping and returns. That's another place that you can add things as well if you want to add it there. Um, that goes into your product settings. If you do want to add that there, you can go into your product settings and add the shipping and returns. But generally, these are your, your policy pages on your header and your footer. Now, as far as other legal information, of course, you can also feel free to add custom pages if you want to add additional legal information. Um, what I've showed you so far is just like more template based. Uh, more general pages that most people would have on their online store. But if you need something specific, you can also easily add a page here. So all you have to do is go to online store pages. And then this is where you can add like sizing charts, for example, or other additional FAQs. So like maybe let's just say FAQ, then you can add in, you know, anything else, other legal information, maybe, you know, si like, like they mentioned, sizing charts, or really anything else specific legal information, let's just say um, additional additional legal policies. You can, you can really list things out here as well, maybe number them, bulleted list, you know, add in really anything that you need, numbered list, bulleted list, indent it, really maybe even paste in a video, add images, a table, any other additional legal information then you can easily add this custom into your pages section. You click save, boom, so that will create the page. And then all you have to do is you can then add this to your store navigation. So we're gonna add that in the footer menu. Click add menu item, link. We just have to go to pages, additional legal info, and then click save. And then this is any other custom information that you may want to add to your online store as far as, boom, additional legal info, and it will show up here 
on your website. So I hope you guys found this video helpful for adding your shipping policies or any other custom policy information. Once again, links will be down in the description box below for the shipping policy template. And if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can start with Shopify for free today. And that's at brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over your Shopify free trial. Guys, if you found this video helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.